Greetings, friends. Here we are again. Here by God's grace. Here because I have a burdened heart that humanity knows Christ who lives in them. Is that the same Jesus? Yep. But he's a whole lot different once you sense that he lives in you. There's a big difference then because he has to use your facilities in order to come forth. Well, today we're going to look into the scriptures, latter scriptures, concerning Paul and how he came to this knowledge of the grace that takes place in the grace dispensation. I've got to get it across to you, dear friends, that we are in a dispensation of its own, its own self. It doesn't borrow it from any other dispensation. God's rule and law in any other dispensation is not in force in this dispensation of grace. It is entirely different. The cross is what made that different. It is the cross of Jesus Christ that has made the great difference in your Bible, in your life, and in the world. That cross, blessed be the Savior, blessed be the Lord of that cross, for He has been exceedingly above all that we could ask or think, and He has been the same to His heavenly Father. Everything the Father wanted and needed is cared for by Jesus on the cross. And so we've been looking into this portion of Scripture in Galatians 1, and I'd like to kind of ended up today with the most important part of those scriptures. We're in verse 15 of this first chapter of Galatians, and it reads, But when it pleased God, who separated me from my mother's wound and called me by His grace, to reveal His Son in me. To reveal His Son in me. That, dear friends, is the reason for the revelation of Jesus Christ. That's the reason for the Holy Spirit in His most crucial work to reveal Christ in the believer. And so we need to talk about this 16th verse. To reveal His Son in me. I'm glad Paul put it like that because you see, in the end, Paul is just another human being. He's just another person who needs God's salvation. He's just another person to whom God is dealing with. And so when he says, in me, he has made it very personal. And when I talk to you today, I want to tell you how personal this revelation of Jesus Christ can be to you. And that without it, you'll never be what you have been planned by God to be. Christ has been joined to your spirit. It is a spiritual thing. It is a spiritual thing. There's a world of difference between those who keep the law and those who are in Christ. And the great difference is that we have been joined by the Spirit to the Spirit of Christ. I haven't taken on Jesus in His omnipotence and in His great wisdom and in His sacrifice for humanity. But I have Christ living in me in the fullest extent that He works.